cycling. The perfect solution to rush hour traffic. But not so good for the school run. To carry the kids, you need one of these. A three-wheel trike. So when it comes to turning a bicycle into the family station wagon, how do they do it? The island of Bornholm in the Baltic Sea. Headquarters of a cargo trike empire. Owner Lars Engstrom made his first trike 30 years ago as a birthday present for his wife Annie. You like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> the most uh, uh, fantastic uh, thing happens. There was uh, two or three uh, persons the same day uh, who told me, Lars, uh, come on, make such one for me too, you know. Building a bicycle strong enough to carry 100 kilograms of passengers throws up a whole host of engineering challenges. Heavy loads can snap a frame or tip while cornering. And the trike box has to withstand Scandinavian weather and whatever the kids throw at it. To solve the first problem, they build their heavy-duty frames from chrome alloy steel. It's stronger than stainless steel, but crucially, it's also light. Once assembled, Martin Hansen welds the pieces together, ensuring a solid base for this cargo-carrying bicycle. It should be strong because it should both bear the passenger and the 100 kilos that can be in the box. After Martin's handiwork, the frames are capable of carrying a rider plus a 100 kilogram load. The next job is to fit the steering head that sits under the box. The problem is because the trike's so front-loaded, it can make steering difficult. Lars's solution is to use a device called a damper. To avoid that, we set an oil damper on. Og, og, og den, den øh, øh, gør, at cyklen den bliver stabil og ikke nervøs at køre. Og det er den funktion, som, som dæmperen her har. The damper is an oil-filled tube, which the steering arm slides into. To change direction, the steering arm is pushed and pulled through the oil, smoothing out the handling. Next problem with heavy loads is strain on the wheels. Normal wheels could buckle over the first bump, but the trike has reinforced aluminium rims and 36 heavy duty spokes. Each spoke is checked to ensure even tension on the rim. The machine spits out any wonky wheels and Benny Jaronson realigns them. Perfect wheels roll on to the tie department, where Hans, Lars and Annie's son fit the rubber. The problem here is that ordinary rubber is unreliable. When you go to school with your children, the last thing you want is to point out. The solution is to strengthen the tyres with Kevlar, the same material used to make bulletproof vests. The next challenge is to prevent the trike tipping over as it goes around corners. A clever wheel mount does the trick. Instead of attaching the wheel perpendicular to the box, the trike has a two-degree slant. This tiny change splays the wheels making it much more stable. Mechanic Dennis Hansen now attaches the splayed wheel connectors to the frame that forms the base of the box with high strength steel screws. It can hold up to uh, 100 kilograms, children, luggage, anything. Next, it's time to build the cargo box onto the welded steel frame. The trouble is, the box has to cope with harsh Danish winters. So Morden Lokerschol 
uses 9mm thick plywood. Each layer, or ply, has a veneer coating that makes it so waterproof it can even be used for boat holes. This marine plywood is good for the Scandinavian climate. A good strong home for the children. The final job for Canal Eric Muller to add seats and seat belt. The only thing missing is airbags. After everything is checked in quality control, it's up to Annie to OK the shipment for delivery. The dismantled cargo trikes are dispatched around the globe, ready to be assembled in bike shops from Austria to Australia.